So let's jump into this one here. Let's suppose I start off with a simple example. I've got g minus 4 multiplied by g minus 3, and it's equal to um, 0. All right. The first thing is I've already factorized this. So the original question maybe ask, maybe will ask me to factorize this. I'm now going to take each bracket because remember, if you if you want to multiply two numbers together, this can be zero, and zero multiplied by whatever that answer will equal zero. Or this bracket can be zero multiplied by this number, and that'll give you zero. So either way, you can see that each bracket can be zero. If I make this bracket equal to zero, first, there's an invisible multiplication there. It will multiply to become zero. So taking this bracket, making it equal to zero, means that I can solve for g. So g becomes four. So what does that mean? It means that if I put the number four in there, 4 minus 4 will give me 0, and then 0 times this whole bracket equals 0. So what have I done? I've now solved the first half of this question, which is solving equations, g equals 4. Then I write the word or. I do exactly the same thing with the second bracket. g minus 3 equals 0. Move the 3 over. Remember, we're changing sides and changing signs. So if this is negative, it's going to become positive 3 on the other side. It will become g equals 3. Like that. Okay. I've now solved it, which means if I make this bracket equal to 3, and I make this equal to 3, this will become minus 1, but that will become 0. And it will multiply to get 0. So either way, it will work out. Now you try one, all right. Let's see if you can try this one. Suppose I got x minus 7 and x minus 3 equals to 0. All right, give it a shot. See if you can try this straight first, and then we'll go through. Let's take the first bracket, right? So we rewrite the first bracket x minus 7. Can we just make it equal to 0? Yeah. Then we rewrite the second bracket and we just make it equal to 0 as well. Then we move the minus 7 across and the minus 3 across and change the sign using equations. So if it's negative 7 on the left hand side, it becomes positive 7 on the right hand side. So x equals 7. And why will x equal 7? Because 7 minus 7 is 0. Why will x equal 3? Because 3 minus 3 is 0 for this one. Moving it over, it becomes plus 3 when it moves. And so when it's plus 3, it disappears from the left hand side, leaving you 3. Which means that if I had the number 3, which is exactly the same as that number, it will become 0. And if I had the number 7, which is exactly the same as that number, it will become 0. So a quick way to remember this is that this is actually the first answer, and that is actually the second answer to draw. All right, but let's have a look at a second example now. Example number two. Let's suppose I got g plus 4 and g plus 3 is equal to 0. And I rewrite each bracket equal to 0. So g plus 4 equals 0, g plus 3 equals 0, and I need to find out what number g should be. G should be negative 4, because negative 4 plus 4 is 0, right? So what does it mean? It means that I move the positive 4, chain side, chain signs, equation theory, and I get 0 minus 4, in which case it disappears and it becomes minus 4. This one can be negative 3. There's no other way it will become 0. If you think about a number line, and you want to get to 0, and you have to plus 3 to get there, the only way you can get there is from negative 3. So the answer here would be negative 3. Moving across, g equals negative 3. And if it's positive, my answer ends up as a negative. If it's negative, my answer ends up as a positive. But the same value for this type of, type of equation after you 
calculated. All right, try this one. What happens if I've got x plus 7 and x plus 3 equals to 0? What will that produce? All right, so the solution here basically works on that. Where Remember, step one, take each bracket, make it equal to zero. So the first one, make that bracket equal to zero. Make the second bracket equal to zero. X equals the opposite sign. In this case, you're just solving an equation, a negative segment and negative four. Let's go to a few examples on these. All right, here's a few examples which have been factorized already. So I have x plus 3 x plus 4 equals to 0. Question 2, I've got x minus 3, x minus 4 equals to 0. What will x be? So what will x be to solve the equation, to make it equal to 0? That's the question we're trying to answer, right? x plus 3, x minus 4 equals to 0. And question 4, x minus 3, x plus 4 equals to zero. The only difference here is all about the signs. Now watch carefully how quickly I do this, right? From here, x plus 3 equals zero. So x equals the opposite sign, negative 3. x plus 4 equals zero. x equals negative 4, the opposite sign, because negative 4 plus 4 is zero. x minus 3 equals zero. x equals the opposite sign of negative 3 positive 3. Or x minus 4 equals 0, the opposite sign of negative 4, positive 4. For this one, x plus 3 equals 0, opposite sign of positive 3 is negative 3. x minus 4 equals 0, opposite sign of negative 4 equals 4. x minus 3 equals 0, opposite sign of negative 3 is positive 3. x plus 4 equals 0. So I forgot to put 4 in there. Opposite sign of plus 4 is minus 4. Done. And that's how we would solve each of these. And you can see this is minus minus. This is plus plus. All right. Imaginary plus. Imaginary plus. Minus and plus. Opposite sign. Minus of that. Plus is this one. This one is plus first and then minus for each of, each of those. All right, so there's a few questions for you to try. Try these. Let me know when you're done. All righty. So, do you want to give me an answer maybe for the first one? All right, so that's all the solutions that we have there. Generally, you would get two marks for each question. So you can yeah. get the go from there. No. Let's complicate this just a little bit by bring it, bringing in one of the brackets into a different space. Now watch, watch carefully as I go through this one. So I've got 2x plus 1 and x minus 1 equals to 0. This one you know what the answer is, right? x equals 1. Just the opposite sign. This one here, we know the answer should be, firstly, the opposite of plus, which mm -hmm. is minus. But this is going to be a fraction. Because I need to replace x with a number that will make it 0. So let's see if I solve that on this side here. Let's say I take this bracket and I make it equal to 0. The first thing I'm going to do is minus 1 on both sides. Bring the 2x down. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. Then divide both sides by 2 to get x equals to negative half. Let me show you that again. So I take the second bracket and I write equal to 0. Step 1, do the opposite of plus 1 on both sides of your equation. So minus 1 here, minus 1 here. On the left-hand side, the minus 1 disappears. The minus 1 plus 1 disappears. They cancel each other out. Bring the 2x down. On the right-hand side of the equation, 
0 minus 1 using integers is minus 1. Now, to get x along, you have to divide both sides by whatever number is in front of it. That's 2. So we divide it by 2 because that's the number in front of it. We can't divide it by any other number here. And because it's an equation, whatever we do on the left hand side, we also do on the right hand side. So we divide that by 2 as well. All right, so we're dividing that by 2, and we're dividing that by 2. The left hand side, you can see, cancels. All right? Yeah. And x is now alone, which is what we want. We just bring the negative half down next to the x, and therefore we get x equals to negative half. So this fraction here is negative a half, and that's my solution there. Let's go through it one more time. All right, here's the question. The question says 2x plus 1. So there's a number in front of x now. All right. So 2x plus 1 is going to be 2x plus 1 equals to 0. This one I can go straight to the answer. x equals 1. Done. Then minus 1, both sides. Bring down the 2x. Cancel out exactly minus 1 and plus 1. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. Divide by whatever number is in front of x. Divide by 2. Cancel it out. Write x alone. Don't forget to divide the right hand side by that number as well so that it's balanced, giving you x equals negative half. And we can just put the word or in between. And this will be for an extra mark. This can be for three marks. Do you want to try one? Not really. All right. I'll do another one. Check this out. 3x plus 1 and x minus 2 equals 0. So x minus 2 yeah. will become x equals to 2 straight away. This will become 3x plus 1 equals to 0. Then I subtract 1 on both sides. Having 3x equal to 0 minus 1 will become minus 1. And then dividing both sides by 3 gets me x equals to negative 1 over 3. So very similar to that one, but instead of 2, I now have 3. And instead of 2 there, I've got 3 now. Alright, check this out. Let's go to another one. I got 4x minus 3 and x plus 4 is equal to 0. This one is pretty straightforward. Opposite side, x equals to negative 4. Then, this one, I just write it again. Make it equal to 0. Start from the number without x. Then subtract or add something that will make it 0. In this case, add 3 because they will become 0. Do the same thing on the right hand side because it's an equation and 0 plus 3 in the next line is now 3. Bring the 4x down. Divide by whatever is in front of x on both sides of the equation. And then cancel it out. So x equals 3 over 4. Alright, I'll give you a second all right, so here's a question here. Suppose I've got 6x minus 5 and x plus 2 equals to 0. And I want to solve for x. So the question will say solve, or it will just say solve for x. And this is part of equations, right? That's what we're trying to do here. So first bracket, step one, easy bracket, x equals to negative 2 in that. Step two, write the second bracket equal to zero. Done. The third step now, add or subtract the constant on both sides of the equation. The constant is negative five. So I add it because it's the opposite sign on both sides of the equation. Bring down the six x and zero plus five is five. Step two. Involved the bringing down the speed. 
And the last part, divide both sides by whatever's in front of x, which is 6. Divide both sides by whatever's in front of x. And so we get f equal to 5 over 6. So we're now done with step 4. And we solve the problem. All right. All right, now, using those steps, do you think uh, you could give it a go? Maybe let's give it a go. I'll give you another example and you can try it. So the next example, I've got 3x minus 1 and x minus 1 is equal to 0. I'm going to take the first bracket, which is step 1, and that's going to be equal to 1. Okay, I'll just erase these. So step 1 is done x equals 1. Let's put the word or there. Now we're now going to take the second bracket and write it down. 3x minus 1, make it equal to 0. Look for the number that's not in front of x and write down the opposite sign of it on both sides of the equation. Plus 1, plus 1. That's step 3. That's going to cancel. That's going to become 1. And then you're left with 3x on the right on the left hand side. All right, lastly, divide both sides by whatever's in front of x. So divide both sides by whatever's in front of x, which is 3. And so x equals to 1 over 3. And so that's the answer, x equals 1 over 3. All right, so that's the second example. All the steps applied. Let's try another one now. x plus 2 and x plus 1 is equal to 0. Solve for x. Give it a go. Try it and then we'll go through it. All right, so we're going through this one now. x equals to negative 1. 3x plus 2 equals to 0. Minus 2. 3x equals minus 2. Divide by 3 on both sides. So x equals negative 2 over 3. Yeah. Super. Now, extending the same concept into the next one, I will keep the steps on the right hand side of the available. And what I'm going to have here is I've got 3x plus 1, let's say, and 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. So here, the first step is to make each bracket equal to 0. Equal to 0. Step 1. Step 2, add or subtract each constant on both sides of the equation. So plus 1 becomes minus 1, both sides. Minus 4 becomes plus 4, both sides. And that's step two, right? Bring down the 3x. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. Bring down the 2x. 0 plus 4 is positive 4. Step three. Divide both sides by whatever is in front. Divide by 3, divide by 2. That cancels, and that cancels. Step 4, just write down the answer, which you should have, not really a step, but your answer is negative 1 over 3, and x equals 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Alright, write this 
poking down and this is now the next part of the story. Right, let me know when you've written this down. We'll try one of these and then we'll jump into maybe a Kahoot or an activity. All right, so the first thing we got here is make each bracket equal to zero. Okay, yeah. all right, so that's going to be 2x plus 3 equals 0. 3x minus 1 equals 0. Step 1 done. Then we add or subtract the constant, the opposite sign of it, so minus 3 because it's plus 3, plus 1 because it's minus 1. But on both sides of the equation, so minus 3 plus 1 on both sides of the equation. So the same number for each one respectively. Once you've done that, you're now done with step 2, but you have to actually subtract it. So let's subtract it. It's going to disappear right down 2x. That's going to become negative 3. That's going to disappear right down 3x. That's going to become plus 1. Then, divide both sides or whatever's in front of x. Divide by 2 over here and divide by 3 over here. Cancel it out. Technically done, so we're just smoothening it out. x equals 1 over 3, and that should be 4 over 